Alright, let's solve this radical equation. This is one of those tricky ones where we're going to have to square both sides first, but then we're going to have to do it again because there's two radicals here. So we're going to have to, we're going to still have a middle term. So remember, when I square this, I'm going to have, this is, I have to foil this out. I have to write this thing out twice. I'm going to do it in my head though because I can. So that's going to be squared. I'm going to have two of those in the middle. And I won't even multiply those together. I'll just leave them like that. And then I'm going to have this come out of the square. And then 5 squared is, of course, 25. All right. Now let's deal with our, let's deal with our like terms. So I've got positive x squared here. So I'm going to move this to the other side just to save paper. So that's 2x, sorry, 2x, but I'm going to subtract it. So that's minus 2x. Then I have 3 minus 2, which is 1, and I'm going to subtract it to the other side. So that's plus 24. And then I'll just leave this as it is. All right, now I'm going to square both sides again because now I've got, I've isolated my radical. So this squared is 4. This squared is x plus 3, x minus 2. This whole thing squared is positive 4x squared minus 96x. See, that's because, again, that's going to foil out. In my head, I'm thinking negative 2x plus 24 times negative 2x plus 24. So I'm foiling it out. So I'm going to get negative 48x twice. And 2 negative 48 is a negative 96. And then 24 squared is 576. 576. All right, now let's distribute, or let's go ahead and foil this out. That's x squared plus 3x minus 1x is plus 1x minus 6. And I've got a 4 to bring in there, and this stays here, of course. Let's see if I can fit this all in one piece of paper. I'll change colors distribute that 4 in, so this is going to be 4, 4, 24, so the 4 x's on each side are going to cancel out. When I, then let's move everything to the right side, subtract 4 x, that's going to be a negative 100 x, add 24, and that's going to be positive 600, that's set equal to 0. Now I subtract 600, and I divide by 100, and I get x equals 6, and let's check it. 6, 6, hey, that's nice. 6 plus 3 is 9, square root of 9 is 3, square root of 4 is 2, 3 plus 2 is 5, I checked out. x equals 6 is the answer.